Hi, I'm Joe Enoch, reporter with ConsumerAffairs.com, and I am on day five of the Nutrisystem diet. Uh, it's been a big sacrifice so far. I generally feel like I can eat an enormous meal at any second. Uh, it's really difficult with my friends who, of course, are continuing their normal lifestyles, and um, I basically a. Uh, a all I can do is view from the side, um, uh, you know, as they get to continue to eat these great things, and I, of course, uh, have these very tiny portioned meals. Um, and it's really difficult right now. I'm a sports fan. Uh, we got the playoff races, MLB playoff races, and football on Sunday. And as you may or may not know, basically every single commercial during those during these these events is uh, some sort of fast food pizza hut mcdonald's all these things that are just so absolutely terrible for you but so terribly delicious and i so terribly want them in my stomach um but i can't and uh, i i've stuck with it um the the first few days were were really tough. Um, actually, Friday, my first day of the diet, not too bad. I think my I think I tricked my body into knowing that it can't be hungry, and that worked for one day. But Saturday, I woke up dying. I uh, I was just so hungry when I woke up, and uh, so I I had the the Nutrisystem breakfast, um, and then. Uh, uh, you know, it, that day, I, I mean, I just drank a ton of water. I needed something to make it feel like I had, I had something in my stomach. Um, and although the water only lasted a little while, it was enough to at least tide me over for 10 minutes or at least feel like I was, you know, I had something in there. Um, and it was extra hard that night. I promised my friends that I would go out with them that night regardless of my diet. And uh, so I was up until about... Well, at least I was at the bar with them until about 2 o'clock in the morning. Of course, they're eating pizza and drinking beer, and of course, I can't have any of those things. Made it extra hard, especially the food, watching them eat. I just really wanted, you know, some food. And uh, although they were polite about it, um, you know, I can't expect them to stop their lives because of uh, this diet I'm doing. Um, and uh, while it was interesting to... Uh, to view these people uh, as a as a sober individual at the same time, I, I definitely missed it. Um, but so I left the bar that night about uh, two o'clock in the morning. Walked back to my apartment, good I don't know maybe mile mile and a half, um, which felt good. It was a cool night. Felt good to get some exercise, even though I was hungry. Somehow I, I felt like I needed to get um, some more exercise. I'd walked around a lot that day, but I needed a little more. Um, and I uh, quickly fell asleep in my apartment that night, which was good. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to because I was so hungry. But uh, I was able to fall asleep. Woke up the next morning to a terrible Charlie horse. Uh, my leg was just killing me. Uh, I'm, no, I'm sure you've had the feeling you just got to get up and, and walk it off. Um, apparently, I need more protein or something. Um, and that walk last night, I guess my legs didn't appreciate it as much as the rest of my body did. Uh, and Sunday was by far so far the toughest day of all. I met a friend at the Natural History Museum here in Washington, D.C. I walked down there. It's a good two miles there. And, um, and again, the walks felt great, but uh, it's just burning carbs, and I have so few in my diet right now makes it hard um, but it was nice to walk around the museum see the you know the the dinosaurs and um, help keep my mind off food for a while but uh, we couldn't finish it we saw the hope diamond and I, I was just too hungry then I had to I had to go home and um, walked back um, and I you know I'd, I'd ate some meals and it, I mean, it just wasn't enough I, I finished off everything that I that I was allowed to um, by the diet restrictions, and I was just still so hungry. So I went to bed as early as I could, as, as early as I could, just because I couldn't stand being awake and being that hungry anymore. Um, but you know, Monday, day four, I, um, I I felt a lot better. I don't know what it was. Maybe my stomach's just getting used to not having as much in it. My body is adjusting a little more. 
Uh, I was fine yesterday, so so fine that I actually um, I didn't eat the entire portion of the diet. Um, you're you're supposed to have you know at your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, and uh, a couple of snacks throughout the day, and I skipped one of the snacks, so that was good. Um, I think so. I mean, the snacks are only a, a few calories, but the fact that I was content with what I had and didn't need any more, I think, is a is a really excellent sign. And today, day five, again, I'm feeling a lot better. I've had my breakfast, but that's it. Uh, I am definitely starting to get a little hungrier. So here's the Nutrisystem lunch, and I will show you what Here this is I am about. In the office for ConsumerAffairs.com in Washington D.C. in our kitchen. And I'm getting ready to have the Nutrisystem lunch. Let's see what we got here. Chicken noodle soup, as you can see. Pretty tiny helping. This is what every lunch is. They're all, they all come in these small little packages. Um, and then everything's microwavable. So what I do here is just pop the top. And I'll take this little lid off here. Mmm, chicken noodle soup. And I'll read the directions. It says that this needs to be microwaved for 45 to 60 seconds. Oh, of course, can't forget the plastic lid or else it goes everywhere. And we'll do it for 50 seconds. And it looks like we're all done. There we go. That's how you cook it. And of course, I can't forget one of the most important parts of the diet, the water. You have to have eight glasses a day. Uh, as you can see, I'm a little too ghetto for glasses. But uh, and I generally have more than the actual amount because you're supposed to have eight eight ounce glasses and I don't own an eight ounce glass so I have 20 ounces a lot more than I need but it sure, certainly can't hurt so now that I have my chicken noodle soup heated try some doesn't smell terrible let's see what it tastes like not bad it's not terrible and to be honest a lot of the meals have not been too bad uh, there are a couple that um, I'm not looking forward to eating again the blueberry muffins they are um, really dry and uh, the, the flavor there's just something about it but uh, I finished it it's not so disgusting that I that I couldn't finish it and uh, but the worst by far, and I have a picture here to illustrate it, was the uh, the meatloaf I had. And although the meatloaf itself wasn't bad, as you can see, the mashed potatoes don't look anything like mashed potatoes. They didn't feel like them, and they certainly didn't taste like them. Uh, and that is not an error of the camera. Those mashed potatoes are brown, and not the sort of brown that you'd expect from skins being in it. Um, I mean, it really looks like there's some cardboard that um, that they mixed in with water and, and got this strange solution, and it tastes like cardboard. And um, and I, I hate to say that about cardboard, but uh, it was really bad. Luckily, I was starving when I consumed it, and I quickly did. And very large bites which for everything else I've had in really small bites trying to savor every little bit um, but you know for the most part the meals have not been terrible the portions as you can see are very small um, but uh, they're not completely unpalatable and it helps a little bit if you can add something to it like I said for every meal you're supposed to add a little bit of something to it um, today I'm going to add some cashews. Um, you can only add a few, so uh, that's too many. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. That should be good. Um, 
seems so so petty to count like that, but when you're having so few calories, uh, especially something like a nut, um, which does have a lot of natural fat in it, can really throw things off. Um, and I, you know, I never knew any of this, but I've been reading about it. Um, starving yourself, uh, essentially, compared to what you were eating, forces you to learn this stuff. Um, so, yeah, a few cashews here, and that will give me um, some some of the protein and, and some of the natural fat that my body needs that this uh, may not be providing completely. Um, and for every meal, you add a little bit, vegetables or salad or something. Um, but like I said, most of them have not been too bad. Um, but we're very early on. This is only day five, and I'm pretty hungry right now, so I'm going to have my lunch. <laughs>